Welcome back to my block, Jazz. I am Danielle Skurg, and we are finally, finally here with a victory Monday. Uh, Jazz with Jaguars beat the Miami Dolphins in London, 23-20, with a Matt Wright game-winning field goal. I think it was 53-yard field goal that he um, that he hit. We were tied up 20-20. He hit it with one seconds left, and it just feels so good, bro. It feels so good. I was jumping up and down. I was so happy. I was talking shit in the group chat. I'm texting everybody. I'm like, yeah, bro, we the best one in five team. Uh, yeah, one in five. Like, yeah, we the best one in five team. I don't see no other team that's one in five that's better than us. I mean, that's kind of silly to talk about the one in five team, but who gives a fuck, bro? We won. We won. I'm gonna talk whatever. I'm gonna make some shit up to talk talk some shit about. You know what I'm saying? So um, we finally won a game, man, and it feels so good. It feels so good. Certain things uh, clicked for us. Certain things still are an issue that we need to work on with this upcoming bye week. Um, Trevor Lawrence, man, he looks so good, bro. If you look at from if you look at our very first game, even from preseason to now, Trevor looks so much better, so much better. Um, he's he's uh, getting the ball out a lot faster. His uh, he's getting his reads. I mean, just everything about Trevor is getting better. Um, the offense in itself is getting better. Uh, Jamal, Jamal. James Robinson, um, he didn't get that many touches yesterday because we were down for the first half of the uh, game. So we were playing from behind the first half of the game. And you know if you're playing from behind, you got to throw the ball. So he still had, I think, 74 yards rushing and a touchdown. And I feel like if we if we go behind Robinson, stop trying to make us a run first or a pass first team, if we literally just focus on the run more, I 100%, 100% believe the offense will open up because we can then work off the play action and then our passing game will get better. Trevor will get better, our receivers will get open a little bit more and everything will flow better. Um, Marvin Lewis, Marvin Lewis, he finally, um, I'm not gonna say he finally, but the, the, yesterday was the game that we were looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like those, that's, why we, that's why we got him. We were looking for those type of games. He had 100 yards receiving. He had two big catches, touchdown. Uh, where he just monster guy, just took the ball out of the air, monster guy. And he had another catch like that down the right sideline where he just monster guy. So those are the uh, that's one of the reasons why we got him out of free agency was to make those type of catches, make those type of plays. Um, Jamal Agnew, this uh, this guy was strictly just supposed to be a, a return man, and now he's out there playing receiver and running back, and he's he's making plays. He's I mean he's becoming a playmaker. Making plays, making catches. I mean, we screen passes, uh, throwing the ball to him deep. He's doing whatever we ask him to do, he's doing it, and he's doing it well. And uh, that's good to see from a guy who literally we were only looking at him as a kick return man. But now he's more di he's so dynamic with the ball in his hand, it's just like, fuck it, just get him the ball. Um, who else? Uh, Trevor. That's it, Trevor. Yeah, I said Trevor, Mark, Mark Lewis. Agnew. Robinson, yeah, I mean, for the most part, our offense is looking good. Chenault, I'm not a big Chenault fan. Um, when we drafted him out of Colorado, they were like, oh, he's a running back playing receiver, and he's so physical when he gets the ball, and he's hard to get down, da da da, da. and 100%, that's what he is. He's a running back playing receiver. Um, I don't see one thing he's good at still. When he has the ball in his hand, he does make people miss. But how do you get the ball in his hand? Because he does have an issue with drops. He had two drop passes yesterday. And just if you look at the season, he has a lot of drop uh, drop balls. So it's like, are we going to play you at? We can't play you at running back. Are we just going to put you in the backfield and just do a whole bunch of swing passes to you so we can get the ball in your hand? So it's strange. To me, it's, kind of, it's a little strange um, with him because it's like you put him at receiver, but he doesn't catch everything. So it's uh, I don't. That's my opinion with with, with Chenault. He's very is uh, he frustrates me a lot when it comes to the offense because I just feel like when things are flowing, he's he's the one guy who I, I want to say is gonna let us down almost. Uh, and I'm not trying to be negative, but just look at the just look at this season. How many drop passes he's had that just killed drives? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like Jesus Christ, bro, like. Just catch the ball. We know what you – We obviously, we can see what you do when you have the ball in your hand. But if we can't get you to catch the ball, we're never going to see, you know what I'm saying, you make these nice plays and shit. So, granted, he did make the the fourth down catch on the fake – like the Hail Mary slant. He did make the fourth down catch. Um, I thought that was a great, great play call. 
as much as our offense, um, as much as our play calling is bad, I thought that play call was incredible because the defense was set up for a Hail Mary. And you do a quick slant with seven seconds left for the first down and then call a timeout with one second left. I thought that was I thought that was a brilliant play and it worked. And he caught the ball and you know what I'm saying everything fell to where Matt was able to kick the uh the game winning field goal. Um Lambo, I know they're trying to save face with Lambo, keep him on IR, whatever the fuck it is with Lambo. Um, bro, just pack your shit and go. Just take it to the house, bro. Just you know what I'm saying? We paid you a good little bit of money. I know you're happy. I know you're fortunate, bro. But it's, I mean, it ain't it. You you ain't the guy no more, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We might as well just pack that shit. Tell him to pack that shit and let it go. Uh, he's lost. I'm not going to say he's lost his games, but he definitely has made games more uh, more tighter and more of a, the, he's definitely not helped us win games. Let me put it like that. Uh, so, Lambo might as well just take his shit to the crib. Um, as far as defense, defense, we get, we get a lot of pressure. And it's kind of crazy because we get pressure, but then for some reason the quarterbacks find a way to scramble out. And granted, there's no more pocket. There's not that many pocket passer quarterbacks who just sit in the pocket. So a lot of these quarterbacks are athletic and can move. And we get pressure, but then they just kind of just scamper out the way. They We get pressure to the right, they run to the left, get pressure at the middle, they roll out, get pressure on the left side, run to the right. So um, we're getting pressure. We're just not, We're just not getting as many sacks as... I'm pretty sure everyone would like um, our defense, our secondary. That is our biggest issue, and I hope we address that when in, in this upcoming bye. Our defense, um, our secondary is just bad, man. As far as safeties and corners, man, like we keep we keep playing zone. We kept playing zone, and they were just killing us with the zone. Their tight ends were just eating in the zone. Waddle was getting off for whatever reason. Like I guess we have to play zone because we're we're worse at man and that's that's my only that's the only thing i can think of that is that we're worse at man so we have to play zone but the zone is horrible like if we're better at zone than man then that tells you how bad our defense is um we need to address that asap man um if campbell not campbell Sitco is Sitco better at man or sam saying somehow put cisco on the field do something man like because it's just the zone, our defense is horrible against the pass. And yesterday was a perfect example. I mean, to the first drive, Tua was just picking us apart, man. Tua literally made the Dolphins look like they made the right decision in drafting him. Like, Tua looked great against our defense because he was just making the passes. He was making the passes because we was, we was giving him what he needed to make those passes. And I feel like our zone, if that's our, not I feel like, it's obvious, that if that's our base defense to constantly play zone, Bro, better quarterbacks are going to eat us alive, man. Just point blank, period. They're going to eat us alive. Um, but for the most part, bro, like, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy we finally got a victory. Um, you know what I'm saying? So where we got a victory Monday, man. Like, it just feels good. It feels good. It feels good to win, man. 20, 20 game losing streak, finally over it. And it just feels, feels real good to win, man. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all felt about the win. In the comment section, what and what should we do with Lambo? What should we do with Lambo, man? What should we do with Lambo? Should should we? Yeah, man. Just let me know what we should do with Lambo, cause there ain't no point for us to keep him. Um, hopefully this bye week we work on certain things. Hopefully we can make a trade for some like a good corner or something, something like that. So I hope something good come out. Something good comes out this bye week to where we'll be better when we play Seattle. Um, our next game when we play Seattle. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man.